Hi guys, this is JB and Minot, and uh, today I'm going to present my uh, tenth part of my Nintendo DS collection. But before I do that, what I want to do is I want to give a shout out to all my new uh, members on or subscribers on YouTube. I now have 125. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do for my hundredth uh, subscriber special, but uh, I also want to let you know about a new movie called Inception, which is probably the best movie of the year so far. It's a really deep movie. Maybe I'll start giving movie reviews. I don't know, but uh, let's go ahead and get started with the collection. Ninja Reflex. This is basically a bunch of uh, ninja-related mini games. Ninja Town. It's a tower defense game uh, starring uh, plushies shaped like ninjas. Nurik Hobby. This game I imported from uh, Play Asia, and what it is is kind of like it's a puzzle game where you have a grid, and you have different numbers on the grid: one, two, three, four, up to I think nine. And what you have to do is uh, make sure that all the spaces around these numbers match what the number is, including the number. For example, if you have a three, uh, that space is blank where the three is plus two other spaces around it. And uh, you basically fill the grid with black marks that aren't uh, connected with the numbers. And you know what, I think I'll give a review of this sometime pretty soon, as soon as I can learn how to screen the uh, screenshot. But it's a great puzzle game. If you're into puzzle games, it's excellent. Nostalgia, I waited until this was about $24. Haven't played it yet, though. OMG, our mini games. It's a decent mini game collection. Uh, nothing much to it though. On Tamarama is a musical game. I still haven't quite understood how to play it yet. It's from Atlas, so it's a bright, colorful game. Operation Vietnam, kind of like uh, cannon fodder. Orcs and Elves, it's uh, an RPG. They say from the makers of Doom RPG. Over the Hedge, this is a Lost Vikings type puzzle game starring characters from the movie Over the Hedge. Good movie, by the way. Overlord Minions. This is the same game pretty much a lot of it as Overlord, only uh, not quite as big a scale and not quite as fun as the original. Pack Picks. This is a Pac-Man game where you uh, draw Pac-Mans to uh, make them uh, eat up all the monsters. It's an earlier DS game. Pack and Roll. Panzer Tactics. If you like those tactic games from the old uh, PlayStation 1, uh, shoot like Nectaris and stuff like that. I really uh, don't have the names off the top of my head right now, but this is one of those types of games. It's a very good RPG tactical fighter game with uh, tanks and planes and stuff like that. If you're into stuff like Axis and Allies and stuff, it's a pretty good game. Past the Pigs. This is based on kind of a game where you uh, you have a couple of pigs, a couple of little plastic pigs, and you uh, roll the pigs like you would dice. And depending on uh, what the pigs, where the pigs land, whether on their belly or on their back or on their sides, depends on how many points you get. It's kind of like uh, the old game Cootie, where you uh, roll a dice, and uh, depending on where you roll the dice, it's part of the Cootie that you draw. And once you draw so much of the cootie, you win. Peggle, dual shot. If you're a Peggle fan, you can't go wrong with this. Excellent game. Personal trainer, math. This is good for kids to learn math. It's pretty fun. Pet alien. This is kind of a where 
you try to uh, rescue aliens from a maze, and it's uh, kind of like uh, Lost Vikings with aliens. Phineas and Ferb, I had no intention of getting this game, but it's gotten great reviews on Metacritic, so I went and bought it. Haven't played it yet, though. The Cross 3D, just like the Cross, only it's in three dimensions instead of just two. The Cross DS. Picto Mage. Pirates, Duel on the High Seas. Planet Puzzle League. This is like, uh, what's that game, I think, uh, Yoshi's Island or something like that. Uh, it's a puzzle game where you basically move uh, blocks around to match three to make them disappear. Platinum Sudoku. A decent Sudoku game. I bought a lot of Sudoku games when they first came out, but after they got oversaturated, I stopped buying them unless there was something special about them. Pogo Island. Basically, it's a bunch of uh, games from the Pogo brand. Uh, Flash games and stuff like that. It's got Tri-Peaks, got, I think, got a Bust a Move type clone and whatnot. Point Blank DS. This is uh, based on the Point Blank series from the PS1. And it's pretty fun, but uh, it gets pretty kind of repetitive after a while. But if you like the Point Blank series, you might like this game. I love the Point Blank series on the PS1. Pokemon Diamond version. Pokemon Heart Gold series. I haven't played this yet. Uh, I wanted to wait until the price went down, but one day I figured I had enough money. And I said, eh, why not? So I went out and bought it. Haven't played it yet, but I do plan on playing it soon. I will start playing it before the end of the month, so we'll see what goes from there. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Pokemon Dash. This is a racing game with Pokemon characters on it. Oh, look at that. Too much dust. Pokemon Ranger. Pokemon Troise. It's kind of like, a little bit like uh, Meteos. It's a puzzle game. It's a pretty good puzzle game, but it's kind of easy. Polarium. They, uh, I imported this on the Polarium. In fact, uh, this was a game in Japan on the Game Boy Advance before they brought it to the DS. This is an excellent puzzle game. Outstanding puzzle game. Uh, it's, it, but it's hard. It's real hard. And you're basically trying to uh, change uh, black bricks into gold bricks or, or gray bricks into uh, black bricks. Trying to get them all into one shape. It's an excellent puzzle game. It's hard to explain. Populous DS, haven't played it yet, but I've played Populous on the PS1. It's a pretty fun game. And last but not least for today, Fresh Your Luck, 2010 edition. Uh, I never saw Fresh Your Luck much when I was a boy. Uh, I think it just recently came back, but uh, I like those old game shows from the 60s and 70s. And uh, this game mostly, I think, depends on luck. But it's, it's pretty fun if you're into that kind of stuff. Well guys, that's part 10 of my DS collection, and I'm really looking forward to hearing from you, and uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and go out and see Inception. Like I said, it's a fantastic movie, really well written, and uh, go ahead and give me your comments and your suggestions for my 100th subscriber special, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you again. In the meantime, you guys have a great day, and uh, God bless. Bye-bye.